So I have not always been uh, a Mac guy. Uh, I actually grew up with PCs in my home and my school. That's what I knew existed. Uh, it, it was not until, and I remember this specifically for some reason, uh, the 2013 Mac Pro, the, the, the trash can design Mac that I even considered uh, switching to a Mac and I actually did the very same year. And, and I love it. I uh, haven't really used a PC since, uh, minus you know a few months here and there just to kind of see what it's like on the other side. But y you probably know if you've ever switched between Mac and PC, th there's a few differences, a few things that are easier to do on one platform or more available on one platform that uh, are different on the other. It's There's a lot of weird quirks, and one of those weird quirks that really kind of pissed me off when I first started is built into most every PC I ever used or easily accessible was something called Windows Live Photo Gallery. And what that enabled you to do is if you ran a movie, a film, a TV show, an episode, any kind of video through uh, the crappy like video software on the PCs, it was called Windows Movie Maker, uh, and converted it to the Windows like movie format, WMV, you could import that video into Windows Live Photo Gallery, right click on it, and make that video your screensaver. Just super simple, super easy, right out of the box, you could do this. And I really didn't do a whole lot of snooping around when I first got my Mac to look for this feature. I, I kinda was just, eh, was content to just let it go because I really did love everything else about the computer. But recently I decided to go ahead and look into the, um, the screensaver functionality. You know, can I turn a movie into the screensaver? So, Check out the link in the description. This is a great app. It's called Save Hollywood. And as I understand it, Hollywood, bit of a crisis. Um, everyone's on Netflix, Hulu, YouTube even. Uh, not really buying a lot of movie tickets out there in the world. And I know uh, when, every time I go to a movie theater now, it's, it's nearly empty. I remember I watched uh, the new Guardians of the Galaxy recently. And uh, there were, I think, five people in the theater and you know half of them left because there was one of those guys in the front that was laughing way too loud at every joke it was terrible um now i'm not really sure what this app has to do with solving that crisis anyways follow the link in the description download the app it, yeah it's pretty simple uh you're gonna get a dmg file just open it up and uh, give everything a second to uh i think my voice cracked there you just open up the screensaver file and uh, <laughs> install it. Put in your password. Uh, be careful not to tweet it. Apparently that is something that's easy to do in today's a and age. Uh, apparently system preferences will randomly crash, or at least it did for me. If we go ahead and hop over to our screensavers here, we should have a screensaver called Save Hollywood, but we do not. So let's figure out what happened here. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so we should have a screensaver called Save Hollywood. Uh, I don't know, for whatever reason, my system preferences kind of crashed there. So uh, if you have that same issue, I guess just reinstall it, whatever. Um, and I actually store all of my movies on an external hard drive. I'm running uh, an SSD RAID on this computer, and they're both like 126 gig SSDs. So it gives me plenty of storage and really fast storage, but it's not enough to store my movie library. So I've got all my movies uh, stored in their own folder on this external hard drive. And I find that that is actually a really good setup. Um, I'm one of the people that's taking the plunge and trying to use my uh, MacBook Pro uh, as like a solid desk setup as well as on the go. So, so when I'm at home, I uh, plug in uh, my laptop and the hard drive and everything. And, you know, if I leave the computer setting on the desk, we'll go to the movie screensaver if I'm on the go. My computer's in the bag. Uh, it's not going to be able to trigger the screensaver because, you know, there's no video there. And, you know, I won't notice because, again, it's in my bag. I'm running around doing stuff. So, all you need to do, click screensaver options. Click this little plus sign and, uh, you know, pick your movie. Uh, the format is actually not nearly as picky as it was on uh, PC. Uh, all of my movies here are either uh, MOVs, QuickTime movies, or just MP4 files. Um, let me find a movie here. Um, I'll do Interstellar, which is a movie that gets a lot of crap, I think just because of how good like the Dark Knight trilogy was. 
Um, I would say to everyone who watched this movie and did not like it as much as I did, watch it a few more times. I find that as I keep watching this movie, it's one of those movies that gets better every time you watch it. And then if we hit OK and preview the screensaver, it should automatically start playing this movie. Uh, which <laughs> starts with, of course, the random opening credits. But there's a few issues here right off the bat. Um, as you can see, one of the this this actually wasn't the best uh, movie to pick. Um, but if I pick something different here, uh, let's see. And the reason I say this isn't to pick this isn't the best movie to pick is because Intercellar was shot like it's kind of a weird technical thing, but it was shot part on IMAX cameras and part on just like normal 35 millimeter cameras. So, you know, a good chunk of the movie is shot like anamorphic on the 35 millimeter cameras and the other chunk is shot on the big, huge, like 70 millimeter IMAX film. So what that results in is a whole lot of changing aspect ratio throughout the film. So let me just pick, uh, it would really help if I kind of wrote these videos down a little bit before I started recording them. Okay, so if we pick something like Lord of the Rings, and we're going to start playing from our last position, and we go ahead and preview the screensaver, what you're going to see is that as this movie starts playing, you're going to have these huge black bars on the side of the screen, as you would if you were watching it on a TV that wasn't calibrated for the same aspect ratio as the film. And this isn't a big issue, but something that I kind of like to do Come back in here to the options here. I'm going to uh, size the video to fill the entire screen. And then I'm also going to kill the audio. I'm going to mute the video and hit OK. And now if we go ahead and preview the video, we're going to let this cut in a little bit here to the actual movie itself. I mean, you can't hear the audio is gone because I was have headphones in right now. But yeah, the audio is gone. You'll just have to trust me on that. But now you can see our video or our film <laughs> our film is taking up the entire uh, screen resolution. Cool. That's really about all it takes to get this set up perfectly. Uh, anyways, this is about it. This is a really cool app, Save Hollywood. Um, you could probably do a lot better to Save Hollywood by just buying more movie tickets. You don't have to actually watch the movies. Just buy a ticket every once in a while, um, you know, and then torn it. Uh, yeah, that's it for this one. See you next time.